Yo, what's up everyone? This video I'm looking at my final look for week number four. So let's get into it. It'll be the same format that I've done the last couple weeks. Um but before we get started, you can drop a like and subscribe down below. And if you want to join us for NFL or for NBA, that's coming up. Early bird for NBA is good until Friday, 10-5. So it's about 50% off right now. Um, NBA is my favorite sport and my best sport. So you can check out the website if you want, dfsprocess.net. Links in description. So let's get into it. At quarterback, I'm um, just going to highlight my favorite plays. There's been some injury news, a lot of injury news so far this week. It's definitely been the most... Um, that we had through the first four games. Um, but at quarterback, Mahomes is still he's still as good of a play as he was earlier this week. He's in a good spot against the Lions. They've been bad against the quarterbacks and against the pass. Mahomes is, every time you play him, he just puts up 30 points. Um, just a really solid quarterback, obviously, in the top play at the position. Um, usually I like to spend, don't like to spend all the way up at quarterback, even though with Mahomes you can always make an exception. Um, but my favorites are like Russell Wilson at 61 against the Cardinals. I think this is a nice game stack here. Potentially, both offenses are pretty concentrated. We know where the production's coming from both sides. On Seattle, it's coming from Wilson, Lockett, you know, Metcalf. Uh, the receiver, Disley, on the Cardinals is coming from Fitzgerald, Kirk, and Johnson. So it could be a nice game stack. Both defenses have really struggled, especially the Cardinals. And giving up 30 points per game, every quarterback has had a monster game against them through the first three weeks and Wilson is just a top quarterback this really good he also can run as well so um, I like Wilson a lot I'm going to go ahead and play him this week um, but other quarterbacks I like are Phillip Rivers a little bit above him at just 100 bucks I like Goff as well Kyler Murray I think this range all four are in play and then if I'm not in that range if you want to go cheaper then Daniel Jones I think is still a really solid play at 53 um, but I'm going to go ahead and play Wilson at running back. Uh, everybody thought we could play Eckler, um, but then Melvin Gordon ended his holdout. Uh, but Justin Jackson is missing, so Justin Jackson missing. It's going to depend on if Melvin Gordon, if we know how many snaps he's going to play or how many carries. Uh, they said he might play a little bit. That's going to depend. That's going to Obviously, it's going to have a huge impact on Eckler's ceiling if Gordon takes away his red zone looks or goal line carries. So we'll have to see if you get a more definitive update on if he's going to play or how much he's going to play. Uh, but I think as of now, Eckler is still a fine play, but he could be a great play if Gordon is not going to play that much. Uh, but McCaffrey is still your most expensive and best running back. Cook, I'm not that interested in him. The Bears have been very good against the run. I'd rather just pay up at McCaffrey if I'm paying this range. I don't. I see this game as being pretty low scoring. Uh, they're on the road here in Chicago. The Bears' defense just, um, I think they're going to build off of last week's performance. And Cousins hasn't exactly been super great, even though they're winning. He hasn't had like, he hasn't been like a tremendous quarterback through the first couple games. I think they could make it a little tough on him. So I'm not going to have Cook at 83. Um, I like David Johnson a lot at 68. Uh, he's really involved in the offense. He gets carries. He gets passes. He gets targets out of the backfield. He has touchdowns in all three games. Um, he hasn't had a big game yet, but Seattle is, you know, they're pretty good against the run. But with Johnson, you're gonna get you're gonna get him on the field um, to catch passes from out of the backfield. Um, Seattle, I mean, the Cardinals' offensive line is so bad, so that's why he hasn't been able to get anything really going on the ground. But you know, I'm expecting this game to be pretty high scoring. So if Johnson can get finding the win to the end zone at least once or twice, then you know you're you don't need him to do much else besides that. So. I still like him a lot at 68. I think the price tag is fine. And just like two years ago, he was we were paying the as we were paying a premium price for him. Uh, when he, him and Le'Veon Bell were just the highest two running backs on the slate, and nobody else was even close. Uh, I still like Ingram at 66, um, but I like this range right here a lot with Henry, Mack, Fournette, and LaShawn McCoy. Um, of these four, I think uh, Mack is probably the best. Well, Mac is probably going to be the most popular. Uh, but I like Fournette a lot at 6,000. Uh, the Broncos have given up five rushing touchdowns through the first three games. Fournette hasn't really gotten anything going yet. I think he's due for a big game very soon. Could be a nice low-owned play against the Broncos. Uh, he's Even though he's not, you know, he hasn't found the end zone yet, uh, the Broncos have been pretty bad against the run. 
and against running backs and he's still playing all three downs he's getting targets out of the backfield so I think there's a good chance he's gonna find his way into the end zone at least very soon I think it could happen this week and I think at low ownership Fournette and David Johnson both running backs that are pretty cheap that get you know that are three down running backs that get carries and target uh carries a lot of tar- carries and a lot of targets out of the backfield is very valuable especially on a PPR site like DraftKings so those are the two I like a lot. Um, at receiver here, lots to like. I'm liking the mid-range a lot. And then if I'm paying up, I'm paying up for Keenan Allen at 76. He's still uh, as good of a play as he was earlier this week. I still like him as much as I did. 7,600 facing the Dolphins. The Dolphins have gotten eaten alive by top wide receivers. Uh, week one, they got killed by uh, Hollywood Brown. And then last week... Amari Cooper dominated them, and now it's going to be Keaton Allen's turn. 17 t- targets, 15 targets, and 10 targets through three games. Mike Williams has also been ruled out for this one, so it's even more looks going to Evans' way. Could have a, just a monster game, so definitely don't want to fade him in cash at least. You can always make an argument in GPPs, but I think he is by far the best receiver on the slate this week. Um, and then besides him, I'm liking the mid-range a lot here with Watkins at 67. Um, He hasn't had a big game yet after his first one, but he still has every opportunity playing all the snaps. He is getting a lot of the targets, and with how much Mahomes, you know, he's going to throw three, four touchdowns every week. Watkins is going to find his way into the end zone again very soon. So I like Watkins. I love Cooper Cup at 65. Cup facing the Bucs, he's really connected with Jared Goff, averaging 10-plus targets through the first three games multiple touchdowns last week before he got hurt last season he had six touchdowns through eight games and he's on that you know he's looking like he has a chance to be on that same pace again this year just a really good wide receiver has a great connection with Goff and of the three receivers that he's the one that I would pay for so like Goff and then um, I love Tyler Lockett at 63 I still like Josh Gordon a lot Um, I like Marquise Brown at 58, Shepard. And then if you want to stack up the Cardinals, Fitzgerald and Kirk are both viable. And then if you want to go super cheap, um, McLaurin looking like a game-time decision. They said he might be playing. So we'll see uh, if he's going to be limited or not. But if he's injured, then you still got some nice value down here with uh, Preston Williams, I think, at 3,900, getting 12 targets last week. Only had four catches. Um but that's what you're going to get with a bad quarterback. I'm not that high on him, but he's going to if you need a value receiver, he's fine. I like Paul Richardson a lot at 37 if McLaurin is limited or if he's out, then 3700 Paul Richardson's fine. Um but I think it's a week where I'm paying up at receiver at least going in the mid-range at least. So I like Lockett a lot at 63. I think this six these six players, they don't leave you doesn't leave you a lot uh, with 3500 left, but you know, go with a cheap guy at flex. Go with like a Disley at tight end or a cheap tight end. You know, play the Broncos def. I mean, not the Broncos. I mean, you could play the Broncos if you want, but you could play like, um, go all the way down and play the Panthers at twenty three hundred. You could play. Uh, the. The Titans at twenty six hundred, even the Broncos are fine. I think, the Colts, the Bears, so. Or pay up all the way up at the Chargers defense and go a little cheaper here. But this is what I like at tight end. My favorite is Evan Ingram at 57 if he can pay up for him. Doesn't look like I'll be able to with this build, but he's still my favorite tight end. Him, Waller. Just going to get the guys that get a lot of the targets. Uh, Greg Olson and Disley at 36. All looking like solid plays. For cheap guys at the flex position here. Just... uh, you know, because we're going to need some savings if you run this one. Um, already mentioned, we'll see if Devontae Parker, he's a good receiver, just doesn't get a lot of, you know, he's getting targets, but it's tough to play any Dolphins. But he is probably a, he's a good receiver as long as, you know, he can, the pass comes to him. And he can't really control where the ball is going to be thrown, but he has a talent to really have a good game. It's just don't trust Josh Rosen. And then I talked about Preston Williams. I talked about uh, Paul Richardson. They're looking fine. There's not a ton besides those guys. You know, you could go with a two tight end approach here. See if there's anybody above like 4,000 that looks appealing. 
Uh, see if Singletary's going to play. He's limited. Frank Gore's not super appealing against the Patriots. I like Chris Thompson at 45. And you could even play like McLaurin. Curtis Samuel at 46. Uh, I don't like Gallman that much, but he's cheap at 46 too. So, you know, hopefully this video helps you. Uh, talked about defense already, the ones that stick out. Uh, Patriots, Chargers, if I'm paying up, the Bears has like a mid-range. And then going cheap, going with like the Colts, Titans, and the Panthers. So, yeah, that's it for this week. That's where I'm looking. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. You can drop a like if you did. And good luck this week.